Hi, Kristen. Thank you so much for joining me, as always. Hey, Polly, what's going on? Not much. Okay, so I'm super excited. I know you just got a new... A new tool. <laughs> a tool. Okay, you just got a new tool, which is da dowsing rod. Am I saying that correct? Yeah, dowsing rod. Okay. So here is what one of them looks like. Wait, you got more than one? Yeah, I got two. One for each hand. Oh, look at you go. That is so cool. Okay, so give me the quick gist on this. Like, what do you use it for? What actually, what are you using it for? Okay, so how I discovered these, which apparently this was a thing, and you told me um, a little bit about this after I introduced them to you. I was on TikTok, as one does, and I found this gal, and I wish I could remember her account name, and she uses them, and she, um, I was fascinated because she'll hold them, and they'll go out in front, and she'll ask a yes-no question. And if it's yes, they come inward. And if it's no, they go outward. And just then I was making them move because I was pinching them yeah. down. Okay. So in addition, on her TikTok account, she has a TikTok shop where you can order them. Oh, how convenient. Yes, and they're copper. And I so then I'm like, look at these things. And what you told me is that this was a legitimate thing that yeah. like water witches used yeah. to do to find water in the yeah, ground. I remember as a kid, you would hire the guy and he was busy. That's what he did. But the thing is, is I actually think he had uh, like a, st I think he, it was like a wooden thing, but it would vibrate and he could feel the water. Yeah. Isn't that and cool? It is, but it sounds so like medieval or like ancient yeah. when in actuality up or until like 2017. What? or futuristic right it could be like crazy old or futuristic everything is cyclical yeah up until 2017 this was how people were still finding water and major water companies it didn't list any in my online research but major water company companies were using them to um find the leaks within homes and piping in the city like it was still a yeah, really so viable cool. and reputable way to find it out so i don't know i think there's something to it Okay, so here's my, okay, how do you care for it? Like, how do they, that's what okay, I want. Okay, so there were zero instructions, so I had to go with my instinct. Okay. Which, when something new arrives and I'm getting ready to use it in any kind of spiritual capacity, I did a prayer over it, like, God, angels, all love and light, please bless these rods and help them bring enlightenment and honesty and light to me. Easy enough. Then I got the Tibetan bells, that we got at the yeah. Coupon Gem Show. And I just kind of dinged them around and like cleared the energy yeah. and then let them sit for a minute. And then I got up and I started just asking questions and just, you know, playing around with it. But what I discovered is the way it's set up, there's an internal, like the internal rod is an L shape. Then the handle is just a external rod, like a straw that goes around this part of it. So you hold that and it can spin within your hand. So the grip is key. You don't want to okay. grab it with your meat hook and hold it still. That's what I discovered right out of the gate. Okay, I love that you're doing this. And this reminds me, but we can't get too far off topic. When we go to the Tucson Gym Show next time, we better record it. But, okay, so the reason I asked you about the care and blah, 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 is because I believe that we are like our own little dowsing rods, right? Like we okay. pick up all the vibrations, all the energy. So that's my question is like, how, how do you, if you are the dowsing rod, how do you care for yourself? Do you do prayers for yourself? Like, how do you personally care for yourself as the dowsing rod that you are? That is an excellent question because I think it's bigger than what we're making it sound like. That's huge. This is our vessel to take in messages and to yeah. keep us alive here. So yeah. self care is key in this capacity. I always feel like I have to be grounded. So like the meditation, grounding in the feet and opening up the chakras. I always feel like, I, and I don't know if this is just me making it up or if it's true, but I do feel like if I am not hydrated, I'm mm. not flowing easily. Like I'm not connecting. I'm not That's getting anything one. right. My intuition is off. Yeah. I have to drink the water for everything to flow through me and for me to feel like functional and capable and confident. That's great. Okay, and then movement also, because if you're not doing some type of movement, forget about it. Yep, you end you up getting 
you, you get blocks. Um, so even if it's passive and you're getting a massage, but you got to do something where you're really shifting the energy. Yeah, I think we get, um, you know, we get good energy in us and we tend to innately hang on to that, but also bad energy. I hate that term, but negative, low vibrating energy also yeah. clings mm -hmm. to us, which can be moved out easily, whether yeah. you're doing yoga, going on a run, doing Pilates, which is my yeah. favorite, or even like that tapping kind of yeah. like gets things flowing, just jumping up and down, any kind of movement, jarring that low vibrating energy away so you can be Ooh, just- And food. I know people, whatever about, but really eating like nutritious food mm -hmm. is another key element. I mean, healthy food and water. Completely. Is very, um, rest. And rest, Get plenty of rest. Oh, look at yes. You and I both like our naps. <laughs> So both of us were like, I know, rest. I was joking, living a European lifestyle with our kids go to school and come home and we all siesta for an hour and then get up and we can function again. Okay, and why not? Um, also like laughter, something like laughter or music, something that just gets you, shifts the energy, gets you, right? It's so good. And it like when you're laughing, you are in the moment. Completely. Yep. which is so important you are in the moment and you are moving energy and that's so good okay the other thing if we're thinking about our body being the dowsing rod so to speak we have to know how it feels when we're picking something up okay so you need your baseline like you have to know what good feels like yeah and yes. then anything off of that is like not normal. So, oh my gosh, that feels different. Let me figure out what that is. But step one is like, what am I feeling on a- Yeah, you have day? to know what do you feel like? What, and, and not even like good or bad, but it's like, what do I feel like? What's my, what's my normal steady state? You gotta yes. be, you have to know what you feel like. And so if you don't know what you feel like, spend some time alone out in nature. Yes, always nature always nature. Um, that's the first thing. And then start paying attention. Do you feel stuff in your gut? Like how do you feel vibrations in your hands? Like, how do you know? Like what, what, how do you pick up messages? Maybe they come in dreams. It doesn't matter how it happens to you, but you are your own little dousing rod. Yes. And you're Very different special. than her dousing rod and his dousing rod. Like we all get it differently. Absolutely. 100%. I love it. Um, Okay, do you have any last minute tidbits on this short little video of caring for your personal dowsing room? I feel like you have to be aware constantly and you have to be able to catch yourself. So if you're just on some sort of spiral in your head and we've all been there where you think something might happen and then you begin to play it out, catch yourself, pull it back, take that same scenario and play it out in like a movie where it's a win, win, win. Yes. And start focusing on that. So got to be aware and yeah. make a quick change yeah any and you it's like whatever works for you to shift the energy right and we can't always like say we're at the dmv or some place we can't always like we can't always shift it immediately but as soon as we get out of there do what you can do to shift it if you've got to like change your clothes listen to music do whatever to like get rid of that i mean for me if i've been in something really intense what do i do take a nap Yes, nap it off. And sometimes, like when I take a nap after I've been in a really intense situation, I'll have like these crazy dreams, like like the flashes of all the faces and everything. It's like, oh, how funny! Yeah, but then I'm good. Yeah. Then I'm back to the golden, the golden way of being. Yep. If you will. Oh, I will. Okay, Kristen, <laughs> thank you so much for um, for joining me, and I'm sure we'll be back next week. If anybody has any questions, comments, or anything that they want to hear about. We see your water bottle in the background, by the way. Well, I'm just hydrating to make sure that my energy is good. That your dowsing rod is working. Okay, <laughs> please do some more experiments with that. That's so fun. Oh, I will. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks for joining me. Oh, and they can find more about you uh, at garagepilates.net garage or on Instagram at garagepilates, all one word. Yep, and then we have a podcast together, which we'll, we will be doing more. Um, we took a little tiny break, but yep. that's Truth, Wellness, and Psychic Adventures. And you can find me at polywyram.com. Thank you so much. <laughs>